Yeah. No, I'm not in my place. I'm the case. <laughs> what do you think we're doing? <laughs> we're just hanging out. Yes. Yeah, I'll definitely see you later. No, I'm actually wearing them right now. Yeah. I love you too. Okay, bye. Oh, my girl though. Show me, I don't even know why you wear those things. Dude, wait till you're in a relationship, and then you'll see the kind of crazy things you do to impress your partner. I doubt that. <laughs> really? Do you remember Aubrey from Grade 11? <laughs> what? You grew traits for that boy. Hey, watch the wine. It took me ages to finish that couch. And besides, Chumi, I was young and dumb. My friend, you haven't been in a relationship in three years. Okay, your telephone bench is ready. Thank you, I love it, you're the boss. Yes, and you owe me lunch. Um, why don't you take this instead? Chumi, I don't want your money. Just to cover your expenses, you should actually start charging for the stuff. You make a killing. Alfie. Alfie! Alfie! Hey, go. Alfie! Oh. Alfie Bash! Uh, okay, Alfie! Um, Umapa Tile! No, go, go! Alfie! 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 Alfie, okay, now! Alfie! <laughs> Even Gogo Boy, with her imaginary Alfie, has a better love life than her. You never wear the stuff your mom left you. It's gorgeous. Yeah, looks great on you. Thanks. But your woman's gonna freak with the way you're parading yourself. Hey, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> that must be JP. Go put on something nice. No, I'm not gonna bend over backwards for no man. Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, come in. Hi. Your wife told me I'll find you here. Mwah. How are you doing? My, my, my. You sure do clean up beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> it's her stuff, not mine. Pretty. Pretty. Thank you. <laughs> he, he meant my outfit. I knew that. <laughs> Listen, before we go, could you please take my phone bench to my place? Oh, what? <laughs> it's a phone bench. Yeah. Your phone has got a bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, why don't you invite her today? Yeah, totally. You should come with us. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun, eh? Good food, good music, and good people. Yeah. Um, I, I can't. I mean, it's your work function. Plus, I have all these designs I need to work on. Ah. Uh. Show me. I don't have anything to wear. You can totally wear this. Problem solved. We ready yet? Yeah. 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 Fly beyond the stars in the sky just to be with you. I have That's crazy. Oh, that's so <laughs> Through the <laughs> It's just that, you know, in my language it means something completely different. <laughs> All I'm saying is don't go around saying it to girls. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe the right girl would like it. Uh, May I use your bathroom? Sure, um, second door on your right. Thank you. So? So what? What do you think? I don't know, Jimmy. He's Kenyan. So? He's sexy. He dresses well. He smells good. He even cooks. And he's in finance and he's got that ass. Like, look, what I'm saying is if I were into boys, I'd totally be into him. And here you are. Just Wasting the guy, wasting. <laughs> well, maybe you should date Jim. Yeah, and then what will my girl say? <laughs> Dad, um, I was just about to call you. So why about like a mood No, look, I'm sorry, I'll pay the rent. It's just that I haven't found a new job and things are a bit rough right now. And I'll be behind, but I'll pay you. You have one week. One week? I don't even have a job! Or oh, I could just send you packing right now. 
A week is fine. And then? Um, I think I should give you guys some space. Uh, I've got to go. Got to okay. Go. Thanks. Mwah. Thanks for coming. Bye, honey. All right. Drive safe. All right. I still haven't paid the guy after a month. <sighs> Last three months, Chomi. I mean, yes, I paid part of it. Look, you need to find a way to start making some money from your furniture making thing, or else you'll be sleeping under a bridge on a sexy couch. And I look at Alondo. He has now, eh? You don't even know them. They all want references. And the only reference I have is... Oof, your old boss. Maybe you should ask your ex-boss. Maybe you can help. Clearly, you're not understanding me, Helen. Like most guys, all he wants to do is just get into my pants. Hey, JP's not like that. But JP's a guy, isn't he? Aren't you? Uh... Last time I checked. See? They'll do anything as long as it benefits them. Hey, why are you being so hard on him? I'm not being hard on him. JP's had a bad day as well. His bosses told him that they're not renewing his contract and it expires in two weeks. Um... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, JP. It's all right, Key. It's all right. You know, my work permit and my contract expire at the same time. So, it means I'll be in the country illegally. But, uh, and I'll have to go back to Kenya. <laughs> but you can get a job quick, right? In two weeks? Never. I mean, would it be that bad going back home? I've worked so hard here, you know, to elevate my career and to go back home and start from zero, uh, no. You know, maybe I should just get that business thing off the ground. Couldn't you tell them the lender? I mean, JP, could you hook me up with the loan at the bank? Hey, Kay, come on. I'm just asking. <laughs> Is my credit that bad? I won't even answer that. What am I gonna do? Well, you could ask your dad. I can't ask my dad. Besides, he doesn't have 50,000 lying around and I've learned so much money from him. Okay, I've been thinking and I've got this idea, but you must promise not to freak out, okay? Because it's a bit... Mm. What? So, you could marry Kay to keep yourself in the country and then in return just give her some cash so she can sort out her little situation. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, it's easy money. Tell me, you know I don't even believe in marriage. Marriage is a sacred thing to me. And I don't believe in marrying somebody who you don't love. Let alone for this. Yeah, but it won't be a real marriage. You guys can like live your separate lives. No kissing, no mess, no fuss. Unless you want to. I don't. It's not going to happen. I can't marry your friend. But you guys will both get what you want at the same time. What if we get caught? I have heard of people who've been busted by home affairs. 15 years is no joke. Please, you know how many people do this and don't get caught? And anyway, what with home affairs won't with you? Wow, Helen. That he is? No, Helen. It's a no. Oh, come on, Joe. But I'm talking about Kenya. And then what? Hi, man. Where's my stuff? Why are you taking my things? They are mine until you pay me. But I paid this. Gatsi, 
Tadaba, I sell some of these things to make money. Not until you pay my rent, Kate. Hurry, Yaman, hurry. Up, up, here, again. Back, back. Up, again. Hey, what's going on? Tadaba took my stuff. He wants his rent. <laughs> Yeah. You know, none of this would be happening if you just married JP. Shut up, Helen. Okay. Dumela Papa. Did you get the pictures of the couches I made? Oh, but Papa, that's why I got you that phone so you can see my designs. I'm okay, Papa, why? No, it's, it's, it's just that sometimes... Yes, Papa, I should never compromise myself for anyone. Get it. Look, Papa, I, I have to go. I love you. Bye. Come in. Hi, Kay. JP. Um, look, I'm really sorry about Helen asking you to... I'll do it. If the offer still stands, I'll, I'll do it. Are you sure? Yes. No. I don't know, but I'm also running out of time, Kay. Okay. So we'll have to go as soon as we can. Sure. You busy on Friday? I'll make time. Okay. JP, look, we, we, we should probably be clear about a few things, you know, T's and C's. Such as? Such as, as soon as you get a job and are sorted, we divorce. You stay in your place and I stay in mine. Of course, um, I would have it no other way. Yeah, no husband and wife things of any kind. I'm not exactly going to have a hundred babies or all for you. Do you really think people can fall in love under these circumstances? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. So, um, do you think I should... I should buy you a ring? Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. No. no romance, Papa, and no sex either. No, of course. Definitely not. I mean, did he have to say definitely not, like it's such a bad idea to have sex with me? Oh, so you do care that JP doesn't want a little care on the side? No! I'm just saying. Dude, can we just focus on this wedding? Okay, so the wedding's on Friday and you need to get ready. Don't I just rock up with my ID? Okay, we're gonna figure out how to do You might as well just tell Home Affairs to just arrest you then and there. You're totally gonna wear one of your mom's old dresses. No! Yes, sir. Helen! <gasps> look, don't kill me, but you know those old photos of your mom? You really look like her. I look like Papa through and through. Let's try this. Show me that's overkill. Don't indulge me. Hi, man, you're too much. Look how pretty. JP. Uh huh. Hello. Coco. Kaylee, got you a chat. No, not really, Coco. Uh, can you watch her, Damona? Oh, sorry, I, I don't understand. Oh, she's getting married. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I'm the lucky groom. <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Flowers are so beautiful. Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> Thank you, JP. Hey, Wena, come on, You'll make a good husband. Uh, Bakai Bahino. Manayan. Well, Helen is my um, people today, Coco. Yeah? Oh, Hobble Lang Horelin Nahe, Kitabaye Munga Bahin. Kitakana Luena Kerekeng, Ibe Minyanyako, Hope John of Fela. No, no, Coco, it's, it's not like the weddings you're used to. Manayan. Harsamayakulok and Kakatibayaka, Yamayemo. 
Well, um, now that we are alone, uh, I've got something for you. Here you go. I, Joshua Pembe, uh, take you, Kelly McQuenna, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I. Skahata say wanaka. Linda can make a little china, and make a chattel in the tomolo alfi. So I'll be doing. I. I, Kaylee McGuinn, I take you, Joshua Pembe, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Mela, Papa. Yes, I'm. I'm fine. No, I just wanted to call and say hello. And. And if Letu showed you how to use the phone. That's good. No, I'm. I'm. I'm I'm good, Papa. I, I promise. Um, Papa. Can you open up? I know you are in there. I love you, Papa. Can you walk out and take it like you can get stuff out? So, what's this I hear about you getting married? You have money to get married, but then you don't have money to pay me. Here's the money. And can I please have my couches back? When can I tell you that? Okay, okay. I'm going to go to the store. And the other, is that empty store still available? So you want to rent something else from me? What's up, Ugam? Look, you've seen the furniture I make, Dadaba. I restored your mom's chest of drawers. And I need to start selling this stuff and your location is perfect. Okay. I'll give you a special rate. You default once, I'll come and lock it up myself. Understand? Toolbox on the table. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Hey! Hey! So we got you something. And when I say we, I mean JP. Uh, she's giving me too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let me put this away for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll just stop it with the matchmaking, okay? I'm married to the guy already. What? He just wanted to do something nice for you. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't even want anything in return. So whatever it is that you're thinking, you need to stop it. <laughs> Ah, 
Jamila, Papa? Jamila. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kaylee Mkwena, the one who's married to Joshua Pebe. Um, that's me. Okay. What is this about, sir? <laughs> you know how these fake marriages have become so rampant these days? So we're just making sure that you two are in fact married. We are. Um, me and my husband, Joshua Mpembe, love of my life. Well, it says here that Mr. Mpembe's permit was due to have expired a few days ago. So that makes your marriage a bit convenient. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just that, you know, when you love someone, mm. you, you just do it, you know? Yeah, I know. I've been married to my wife since I was 22 years old. So I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, same here. I'm just gonna close that pack. It must have been hard negotiating Lobola with your family. I mean, some tribes in Kenya no longer practice it. Mr. Pembe Ojra typing a Fiko Kenya. Um, um, I forgot. I remember him telling me, but I wasn't paying attention. Too much wine, you know. Fair enough. Le Bergisha dressa ya manyara wa yara. Yak. Because I'll be paying just a few visits, just to make sure that everything is 100%. Okay. Enjoy your day. I'm not going to jail. No, you're not. And how do you know, Helen? Okay, I don't. Exactly. You know what? I'm filing for divorce right now. I'm going to jail. Hey, hey, just relax. Relax, okay? You sit down. Sit. Okay, so you told that guy that you guys live together at your place, right? Yeah. Okay. Then, then there might be another way out of this. Mm, nothing short of us moving in together. But that is not going to happen. I am not going to do that. Yes, you are. No. Hey, I've heard of people who are accessories to these kind of things, and they go to jail as well. You guys might be willing to go to prison, but I'm definitely not. Fella noise. Yeah? Listen, listen with your soul. What the hell is that smell? Mmm, that is the smell of soba samaki. A, a, a dish I've made for myself. You see, soba samaki mm -hmm. is... Soba samaki is something you should be cooking in my house. Have a seat. Last night I realized that you came home quite late, and I was very, very, very concerned about you. 
I am not your wife, JP. True that. But it's very dangerous for you to be out there alone. Wifey. Ha 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 ha. So, did you finish that chair you were working on? Yeah, 17 splinters later. <sighs> what? Come on. Let me have a look. That one is quite deep. Yeah. Do you have a tweezer somewhere close so I can help you take it out? It's fine, I can do it by myself, JP. Tell me, why is it that you don't like it and I try and help you? Why do you have to be nice all the time? Breakfast, kisses on the cheeks, store signs. Just be yourself. I am myself. This is what I do. Well, I don't need it and I don't like it. Just keep your charming stuff. Look, it was funny food, Chomi, but he cooked. I mean, what the hell? And then he plays some jazzy stuff. Like, yeah, right, who's he trying to fool? Hey, do you know how many girls would love that to happen to them? Look, JP's in my damn space all the time. That's what marriage is, my friend. It's not a real marriage, my friend. No, I cannot take it anymore, Helen. JP needs to pack his bags and move back into his own place, and we'll just take our chances with this home affairs guy. What? In fact, I'm gonna tell him tonight. I'm glad you're home, Ellie. I was actually just about to call you. Yeah, look, um, JP, we need to talk. Ah, uh, it can't be. No, it cannot wait any longer. Is someone here? Yeah, but um, please just keep your calm, though. Why should I keep my calm in my house? Don't raise your voice. Why shouldn't I raise my voice in my house, JP? Are you entertaining women here? Miss Mokwen. We meet again. Uh, please excuse my wife. She's uh, a little bit uh, possessive. No, no, no problem. Uh, I'm surprised to see you. <laughs> oh, I always find the best visit are the unscheduled ones. There are no photos of the two of you here. Um, hmm? my husband's just moved in, and um, we haven't had time to unpack. So, so you did not have the pictures of your husband up from the time you're dating. Oh, um, we do. I did. Um, I put them down to make room for the new ones. Which you did not put up. Yet. Yet. Well, that's it for now. I've already spoken to your husband, but I'll be coming back shortly, just to speak to both of you. You guys spoke already? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well. Um, you have any idea when? Uh, cheers. What did you say to him, JP? He asked me for your birthday. Wow. I mean, what is this? What is going on here? I, I'm living with a woman I barely even know. This is not what I imagined marriage to be. Just come down. I'm I'm 15 years old. I'm here. I don't even know your middle name, Kay. Did he ask you that too? Yeah. Wow. I'm going for a walk. JP. Take it off if it's such a big deal. I thought you weren't coming back. Listen. We are in this together. We can fix it. How? By studying everything but one another. If we have to, yes. Look, Kay, I... I didn't come into your life to ruin it. 
So we can try. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We can start with um, likes and dislikes. Oh, you know a few of my dislikes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number one, dislikes dried fish. Yeah. <laughs> And you dislike it when I finish the hot water. Aye, 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 aye. Every morning standing outside the bathroom knocking. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful in the morning. Really? Yeah. Little short pajamas. Your hair all over the place <laughs> like you're in a fight. <laughs> it's cute. I like how you smell. You got it? So, where were you born? I was born in a place called Sombaru, close to the Great Rift Valley, on the 18th of April, 1986. Wow, I'm an April baby too. Ah. 4th of April, 1988. Amazing. Yeah. Shouldn't you be writing this down? No, come on, I'm not going to forget your birthday. Well, I on the other hand will. <laughs> so, what was it like growing up in Sombaru? Pretty normal. My father left Kenya to come and find work here in South Africa when I was seven. I came to South Africa with my mother when I was 19. Didn't see my father much, though. And your parents are both back in Kenya? Yes, they are back in Kenya. They left a couple of years ago. So? What about you? Well, um, I'm the only child. Dad lives in Mafikeng. Mom divorced him and left us when I was young. So dad raised me and um, he's my number one. What is your fascination with furniture? I doubt Mr. Mluli will ask you that. <laughs> Most probably, but I just want to know. Um, well, dad's a carpenter. I spent so much time with him, I realized I was natural at it. A piece of furniture can make a house look like a home. I like that. <laughs> what? You have such a soft heart, but you try so hard to hide it. Why? Shouldn't you be going before you're late for your interview? Yeah, you are very right. <laughs> Wish me luck, eh? You need to quit it with your kissing. <laughs> Later. You know, I discovered this park today. Took some really beautiful pictures there. Yeah. Come have a look. <sighs> yeah, I would have told you about it, but I didn't want you to think I was trying to romance you. Oh, Anything? yeah. Of course, that would be breaking all the rules. Eh? Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Put this one here. I took this one here just by the stream. Mm -hmm. And also another one by this beautiful tree here. Hmm? Beautiful. They're amazing. You know, uh, I was thinking maybe you and I we must take some pictures together, looking all lovey-dovey, in case Ms. Lully comes to visit. Okay. Yeah. Let me start with you. Now? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you look. <laughs> no, I don't like this one. You don't? No, it's not so. Maybe we must take one together. Sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. at least try and look like you love me. All right. If you can remember when I graduated, what degree and what minor I did. 
you'll get a bonus point. Okay. <clears throat> so I think it was 2007. Yeah. Become in finance. Mm -hmm. And a minor in business studies. Wow. <laughs> Now you're just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Give me my peace. You deserve it. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> nice. Mm. Oh, you've got uh, something here. <laughs> <laughs> this frame is beautiful, eh? Of course, I made it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit skew. There we go. There we go. That one is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. Yeah, because of the light. Hey, you. Hey, Chummy. You don't call, you don't write. Just because you're married doesn't mean that you must forsake your friends now. No. Stop. Oh. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear that you guys were at convincing, eh? Mm. Yeah, um, JP, do you mind if I spend a little time with my friend? No, 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 no problem. I'll just go to the coffee shop. I'll see you later. Bye, baby. Bye. <sighs> you totally shagged that man. No, I don't believe. You. I mean, what was with all that electricity in the air and the way he touched your arm like that? Nothing happened, Helen. But both of you wanted to, right? Look, this whole thing is not real. Yeah, says who? I mean, the way you guys are together, just the pictures on the wall and everything. Well, I guess we're putting on a good act. Ah, please excuse my wife. She's a little bit upset with me because, um, I forgot her birthday on the 4th of April, 1988. Very good, babe. Uh, and what's her middle name? Did you find that out too? Uh, it used to be Charlene, but she changed it. Charlotte, you mean? Charlotte, yes, Charlotte. Men, they always act like they're listening, but they're not. Uh, it's difficult to feel appreciated when they remember the one thing that you did wrong and forget about the other 99 that you got right. <laughs> Excuse me, the juice went right through me. Uh, um, second door to your right. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Charlene. How could you forget my middle name, JP? I, I don't know, but I remembered everything else. Oh, next minute you forget why I even make furniture. Oh, come on. How can I forget something important as that? I don't know. You said Charlene or is it Charlotte? I don't know. Don't be like that, Kay. Why not? What if, what if Mr. Mlulu walks out of here thinking our marriage is nothing but a fake? What then? <clears throat> well, there's no need of you worrying about that. You two fight like an old married couple. I'll write it on my report. The two of you... I'm not sure, but... I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see myself out. about this peaches and chicken thing, eh? You are such a skeptic. <laughs> mm -mm. Hmm? Hold. 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 Now try it with the peach. Mmm. Mm. Very juicy. <laughs> yes, it's like a putty in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, um, do 
you remember that job interview I went to? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I got the job. What? Yes. When? Yesterday. Um, they called me, but I don't know how to tell you. <laughs> well, more reason to celebrate. Yeah. So, so, so this means our agreement is over. Sure. Wait, 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 wait. Um, that came out wrong. No, it I... it it came out perfect. Um, you paid me twenty k for services rendered, and now it's done. Mm -hmm. So you can move out tomorrow. I know, but um, okay. Okay. Your chicken's burning. Okay. somewhere we can go rather than just sit here. Baby, have to get back on the horse, eh? There's plenty of fish in the sea, and maybe you just want the specific fish from Kenya. <sighs> you know, everything in the flat reminds me of JP. Look, maybe you should go to your dad's place for a little while, so you know, clear your head and just think things through. And then when you come back, you'll know for sure if you really want to get a divorce. Be signed as witnesses. Do I sign here? So that's it. I have an ex wife now. Yeah. Divorces. Kate, you, you know these last few months, they were, they were special. JP? doing on Saturday? Nothing. What? I want to cook for you. Maybe have a picnic at the park? Well, Miss McQuinna, if I didn't know any better, I don't think you were trying to romance me. 